All right, so ladies and gentlemen, after trying out many different games on Microsoft Game Pass Ultimate on my Xbox Series X, there's a game that I wanted to try out that looks like it just appeared kind of out of nowhere. I don't know if it's brand new or whatever. Apparently, it's a narrative-based game. I just want to give it a shot and see what the hell this is, okay? So it's called Last Stop. I think it's supposed to be like something about Supernatural. I don't know. It's kind of weird. New game. Let's actually, uh... Let's make sure that everything... See, brightness, motion, blur. What about subtitles? Other. Subtitles on. Language by default. Alright, everything else looks fine. Let's see what this is about. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what the hell it is. London? Looks like we're in London, because that's Big Ben, right? Oh, never mind. London, 1982. Oh, 1982. Whoa. That's, that's the year I was born. You're off your rocker, Pete. You know that. Oi, get back here. He stole his, a policeman's hat. That's messed up. What do you think? Just run, you idiot. It's bollocks. Oh, bollocks. Over there. Come on, down here. What? No. Do not run on the train tracks. That's a very bad idea. Uh. There's a train. Here. Just don't stop. Oh, I see. There's a quick time. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I almost died. Yo, I played for 30 seconds. I almost died. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Get back here. Whoa. Guess we're going down. Why is she following him? <laughs> You're gonna get into massive trouble. The music's good. Well, there's some slow cops. Or bobbies, right? They call them bobbies in, in, uh, in England. So the bobbies are very slow. La, 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 la. Why is he still stealing the hat? Just drop the hat. This is what the sewers look like in England. Come on, this way. You know, he could have just opened it. He didn't have to use his shoulder. Come on. <laughs> Nice work. Nice work. Can you pause? You can. Shout out to Money Creature who tipped me a dollar thirty. Says, do you ever play Flight Simulator when you're not streaming? No, I do not play any games when I'm not streaming. As I told you guys, considering how much I'm streaming and playing games every day, I actively try not to play video games when I'm not streaming. So that way, I have variety in my life. It's not all the same thing. <clears throat> huh? You're late. So. Who the hell are you? You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. What? Anyway, come on. We can probably still make it if you're quick. What are you talking about? Hang on, Pete. Hey, mate, can you get us out of here? What? Are you kidding? Didn't you hear me? We don't have time for this. Either you're coming or piss off. But don't expect a refund. This isn't a charity. Guess we're going with him then. What the hell? Oh. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Step into the mysterious door with green lights coming out of it? Hmm. Sam, what are you doing? That thing's radioactive. Get back. Chicken. Sam! Oh my god. It's yeah. now or never, son! They're over there! So be it. Wait! You're nicked. The other one's through that door! Gotcha! No. I don't believe it. What the hell? What was that about? <laughs> Last stop. Do -do -do -do. Prologue. Do -do 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 -do. Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh, what the hell? You have to ch you have to select a character, I guess. Oh wait, there's more. No, paper dolls, domestic affairs, or stranger danger. I don't know if we're selecting a different plot or if maybe you do all three of these in, in the or does the order matter? I have no idea. I literally know nothing about this game. Jump booting it up, so. Let's do domestic affairs. How does that sound? Domestic affairs. The next station is Salt Cellar Lane. Sure. <laughs> Alrighty All righty then. Domestic Affairs Chapter 1, The Candidate. All right. Do you value all human life? No. <laughs> Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Sure. Everyone lies. Let's make her complete to bitch. the life of a loved one? Sure, if that's what it takes. Wow. Capable of suicide. Been known to, but only after a few drinks. Please be cooperative, Miss Hughes. Nah. What is your greatest fear? Rising interest rates. I've got a big mortgage. Nah. If you were to be sent on a long trip, how long could you be away from your normal life? What do you mean? We mean your life outside of work. Your attachments, your family. However long is needed. Even years. What if the trip was indefinite? Is it? Thank you, Miss Hughes. No. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Okay. What the fuck? Yo, they have no faces. Look at these people. Got me on speed. Got a spare hour or two? I may have. I'm coming over. I'm coming over to spin. <laughs> I'm coming over to spin. Oh my god, why they. This is like an old thing you used to be able to do in these games, and now you can do it again. You can spin. <laughs> okay. Very weird. Those people have no faces. I wonder if there's any. Are there any optional things to do? Like, are you looking for collectibles and the like, or is it just straightforward? I don't, again, I don't know. I don't know because I don't play, I never don't know anything about this game at all, actually. Mina! Zero. Mina Hughes! I'm gonna say something but I have no mouth. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, I'm not talking to her. I hate this bitch. I'm, I'm going back. I ain't talking to you. Oh, they won't let me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I can't turn around and leave. No, you're forced to talk to her. Oh, no, fuck this. I'm going this way. No, oh, come on! <laughs> Whoa. Scan for weakness. Mina's emotions. Tired, hunger, and well-being. Stream of consciousness. Glad to be out of that stuffy interview room. I don't have time for this. I swear I've never seen you around the office before. Bloody new recruits. Can't they learn the ropes? For heaven's sake, perhaps I'm a little late for my appointment with Felix. Gotta keep him keen. What the fuck? Oh! Unguarded smile doesn't seem fake. Overly keen to make good impression. Total rookie. Doubt she's seen any combat. Okay. Amy Ng. Not a name I plan to remember. Surprised at her clearance level. Level 4. Same as yours. That's what your badge said. Slight tremble in the hands. Nervousness or excitement. Either way, she's unguarded with her feelings. No wedding ring. Smart. Negligible interest. 8. Hey, Mina. Do you mind if I get past? I I'm Amy. Amy Ung. I'm pretty new here. I can understand why you wouldn't remember me. I am going to need to get past at some point. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wow. You're a big deal around here. I, I thought maybe you could give me some tips. Oh, God, she'll follow I you. I went to Operation Bloodhound before at a Sam test. You know they use you as a case study there as an example of how to keep a clear head under extreme pressure. Okay. Since then, I've been doing a lot of meditation. I think it helps a lot, you know? Oh, what am I saying? You don't <laughs> need to tell me that. Sounding your Sorry, ass. Sorry, are we going the same way? Anyway, 
I've uh, been with the company about 18 months now, just transferring oh, over from the Gibraltar office. Blah, 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 blah. Have you been stationed there before? Sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, there's good work being done over there at the moment, but obviously it's nothing compared to HQ. I'm really lucky to get the opportunity to work down here. Oh my god. Hey, maybe we'll end up working together. She won't stop hounding her. It would be great to shadow you, to learn from the best. Shadow? You're like my right. shadow. You're attached to my ass right so now. Much about <laughs> you. It's an honor to meet the legend in person. Well, this is me. Are you going up? Oh, no. It's been lovely to meet you. Bye. Wow. <laughs> blah 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 blah. Oh no. Someone else to annoy you. Here's... Oh, that must be her she boss. She called him Sir. They keep getting younger. Promising recruit, that one. Yeah. Put her in the mix and you'll get anyone talking just to get her to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting fast tracked. What? Haha, <laughs> the whole thing froze. Thing. The elevator froze when he said that. Fast tracked where? The most intelligent people in the world working here, and we can't even get a lift to operate reliably. Where's she being fast tracked to? <laughs> Advanced dynamics, your safe. Oh no! Great. So I have to look after her then? No. Well, bloody time. She'll be reporting to me for the time. Directly. Why? Huh. What's your interest in her? That's what I just said. <laughs> decided to include Amy in the selection process. Since you. I hear she performed very well. Let's see who comes out. So she's in competition with this Amy. Huh. I think this is your stop. Please. Sir. <laughs> I don't think she's very happy about this news. Maya Soroya as Mina Hughes. So far, the di voice acting and the uh, music is really good. Dun, 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 dun. What the? There's a visible wall. Look. I can't go that way. Domestic affairs. Where am I? Uh, am I supposed to be moving or something? Oh, yes. The future is in our hands. Interesting. The game volume is too low? Seriously? Okay. There, I open a little bit. What the? Where am I going? This way? Raining, she doesn't have an umbrella, she gets soaked. <laughs> la, 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 la. Chris has to me $12. Thank you, Chris. Because of Chris now, with a half an hour left, we get a vest on the stream. Thank you very much, Chris. I don't know what's been going on today. I, I basically tried all the games people wanted. I actually, again, this is an, I, you guys, you guys know how much I like narrative-based games, so I, I'm already enjoying this, um, even though there's really no gameplay to it. But uh, all right, let's get a poll going. Thank you, Chris, for tipping the scales here. Which vest is last minute Game Pass best? So beige, red, denim, camo. Those are the options. Please vote. All right. No one voted for this. No one voted at all. There's been no votes today. What are you talking about? No one voted for games. <laughs> no one voted for this game when there was no voting at all today. Dental implants. When the heck did this come out? It said this game is from this year. And I never heard of it, but it seems interesting. Lie, I'm feeling ill. 
Dill Mina, in light of your cordial visit later this evening, I decided to delay my routine eating hours to secure an appropriate work schedule. Dinner will be at 19.30. It's her dad. Lie. Half truth, I'm double booked. Lie, work commitments. Lie, I'm feeling ill. Just do, do a half truth. Sorry, this is the last minute. Can we rearrange to come over another time? I realized I arranged a while back to go out for dinner with a friend tonight. Okay. So that's the actual truth. Okay. Have I played Broken Sword? I've never played a game called Broken Sword before. No else. The reason that I didn't lie is because your dad, and likely your dad knows you well enough to know if you're lying or not. That would be my guess. No, you are not hitting Cracked Corn Carl. And I don't care. Jimmy Cracked Corn Carl, and I don't care. <laughs> Come for a checkup, have you? You gonna let me in? Can't get enough of my sensitive bedside manner. <laughs> okay, wrap it up so we can get on with this. Hey, just having a bit of fun. Save it for the bedroom. Fun starts upstairs. Oh boy. Strong sexual content in a game like this? Are they out of their minds? I guess so. Strong sexual content. Who would have thought that would have been in it? I'm very offended. I was not expecting strong sexual content in my choose your own adventure game. Did she kill him? He looked like he was dead. She choked him out. Extreme, extreme, <laughs> extreme pleasure. Oh, oh. She, she's actually a, a fucking black widow. She goes around murdering people. <laughs> what the hell is that? She just left right away, too. What was this? Is this her place? I guess so. She seriously just left right away. She's like, fuck him. <laughs> she seems like a cold bitch. She just uses people around her, lies, complains, has bottles of liquor out on her countertop. So we got some whiskey, we got some Merlot, and luxury tap water. Uh, after sleeping with that guy, she's probably very, very like, she's living with regrets. So we'll go with the we'll go with the Merlot. There you go. Oh shit! I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Blub, 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 blub. Bottoms up. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> what the? Wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. Ho, oh, ho, shit. Yeah, I just need to sit down for a moment. Long day. Well, that surprised me. One that you can't wait to end. Wait now. My babe saving the world again, is she? You make me sound like a superhero. Well, you could be for all I know. Is there anything I can help? Can't talk about it, I'm afraid. <laughs> Black club? She, lives, she works for the government, so she can't tell him about her job. She probably can't tell him about the fact that she just slept with another dude either. Now that you can help me with. Dylan upstairs? Dylan? Mm -hmm. She has a kid too? I'll out for you. Make sure wow. you're reading and not watching TV. Wow. That's fucked up. Huh. <laughs> okay. It's his bedtime. I'll go switch his light off. Dude, that's messed up. She's a fucking terrible person. This is Dylan's room? Yeah. Hey, Dylan. Hi. <laughs> wow, he really Dylan? likes her. Yeah, just eating. How's Granddad? What? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I told him about your 200 meter swimming badge. He was very proud. 500 meters, Mum. Wow. I got my 200 meter badge ages ago. Uh -huh. Why'd you always forget this stuff? Well, she's a little busy. She's trying to juggle a double life, you know. You gotta be uh, <laughs> understanding. Blame it on the old memory. Right. <clears throat> 500. You can't expect someone my age to have a memory as good as you. Right. Dad said you'll come and watch me do my 750 meters. <laughs> Dad, that's a liar. You say you'll come this time. <laughs> He's full of shit. How would Dad know? And the 300. Everyone else's mom's come. 
Right. Everyone else's mums are like, you know, spies for the government who do all kinds of intelligence work, huh? <laughs> anyway, it looks like the denim vest will win. The denim vest is at 34% and nothing else is even close. So let me go get the denim vest so that way at least we get some, uh, we get some vestige for the stream today. All right. Okay. Ooh. Uh, I'll try. Of course. I came to the two hundred million. I'll say I'll try. I'm sorry, darling. You know <laughs> that it's hard for me to always get away from work, but I'll make a special effort next of time. Of course she will. I'll Full put of it shit. in my diary and underline it in red pen. <laughs> okay, now it's getting late. Time for bed. Oh, by the way, I'm colorblind. I can't see red. <laughs> oh, come on. Can't I stay up until nine? Dad always lets me stay up a little longer if I'm reading. Nice try, kiddo. No. By, by the way, what are you reading? Oh, it's called <laughs> Cheating Moms and Their Infidelity. What do you think about that book? <laughs> Not when I'm here, he doesn't. Oh. Come on. Be good now. You need your sleep. Oh, Fine. the stern villain mom. She's the she's the the hard hardball parent, while Dan is the parent that lets you get away with everything. That's right. So she's worried about this new junior intelligence analyst, who's now in complete competition with her at the job. This is like an interesting drama. I like this interesting drama show. It's a good interesting plot already. I don't know what the hell I had to do at the beginning, though. Uh -huh. Whoa! Okay. The Candidate? Finished Domestic Affairs Chapter 1? Oh, I see. So it's three different plot lines, and each one has a chapter-based system. So probably once you do Chapter 1 of each, then you gotta do Chapter 2, Chapter 3, and you continue on with the plot lines. All right, let's start. Look, we got time. Let's do paper dolls. We should have enough time. Adam Allah says this is actually legit good, and Darkness says this is my favorite thing of all day. Sexy Carl says we have a, a, a perfect replacement for Dong and Rampa. I like this. I actually like this right now. This is interesting. The next station is Cobbett Square. All right. Good old Mr. Clean here. Let's see what he's up to. <laughs> all right. Commuter rage. All right. We're going to make him be very angry no matter what. Dingwall Tower. What a name. Oh. Dad! Oh, no. I thought she forgot about me. God damn it. First thing. Pills, Got pills there on the counter. La, la. It's another. Oh, dude, it's gonna be a heavy rain intro. Hold on, we gotta find the shower, and he has to wash his foot long. Let's get to the showers first. Forget about Molly. We gotta go. Sh Hold on. Where's the bathroom? Where the hell's the bathroom in this place? I can't find it. Hey, Dad. He seriously didn't have to piss or nothing when he woke up. He went right to the breakfast. Good morning. Yes. Where at the time? Just give me a sec. We'll be out of here. No. Ready when you are. I did my lunch already, so you don't need to worry about that. And I know you said I couldn't have crisp sandwiches, but I put ketchup on it, so it's one of my five today. Oh, and before I forget, you know I asked you to sign my homework diary. Well. You don't need to worry about that anymore. I managed to forge your signature. Good girl, she learns quick. Very nice. By the way, a friendly reminder, there's nothing in the freezer. Can you go to the shop? Maybe get some of that new mouthwash one. Here we are. You know. Yes. The one with the pitch of the Heavy rain again. Bottle. Here we go. Clean those it's goddamn teeth. Get that tartar off. It shows all the bits of bad Extra breath in the sink when you spit it out. Yeah. Dad, can I get an electric toothbrush for my birthday? 
Yes. Perfect. By the way, shout out to Furgo who did a super chat and said, This game is class. I thought it would be pish. He's mate, this game's class. I thought it would be pish. But it's quite quite the experience. Thank you, Furgo, for the super chat. I, did I say did I spell that right? Furgo. Yes, Furgo. Now I also Fargo. Okay. Hello, Sogo Osaka. You said it's really fun, like going on the car wash, but in your mouth. Maybe we could share it with two different brush heads. Obviously. Make it dressed. You need a new toothbrush anyway. No one has hairs all over Hairs all over it? That sounds disgusting. Uh, there it is. I have hair and you don't. You have some. Because I'm old and balding. Well, I have horseshoe hair. I swear. But I'm older. Yusef, to the Super Justice, have I seen Curb Your, Curb Your Enthusiasm or Seinfeld? I saw the entire series of Seinfeld. I've never seen a single episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm because it was always on HBO, and I never had HBO at the time when it was on, so i never seen that. Hmm. All right, got a sweater. Are we ready to go? I guess we're going to take it off. Honey snaps. Right. Let's go. Phone, Dad. Phone? Oh, shit. Crap. Damn it. Give it a buzz for me, Mom. <laughs> he Go lost in. his phone. Hear it. Seriously, it's under all that? Oh my god. Wow, I was super buried. Usa? Like raspberry jelly. La 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 la. Check the pies. The last one downstairs is the rotten turnip. Don't make me run. <laughs> I had to say it. His, doesn't his daughter seem like smarter than him? His daughter seems like way smarter than him. He seems like he's like an old washed up dude. <laughs> Completely gassed. Uh, where is she? Uh oh. Did he just lose his daughter? Where is she? Just bills oh. and some post for that man, Jack. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Who's Jack? A bad postman. Oh, postman not doing his job properly, I suppose. <laughs> Guess we better do it for him. All right, do that. So, chicken dippers for dinner. Chicken dippers? What does that mean? Like chicken uh, fingers, chicken nugget, or uh, not nuggets? Probably like chicken tenders. Couscous, Caesar salad, or fish? Oh, I don't know. Probably should try and be a bit more healthy. How about white fish on a bed of lentils? Lentils? Wow, get you, Jamie Oliver. How nice. He walks his daughter to school. This is actually a nice story. And the, the soundtrack's outstanding. La la la. La la la. Look out, there's a black woman coming. Ah! <laughs> she takes them both out. Boom! Steals the backpack and runs away. Oh! All right, let's go. Hello, Wu back, baby. How are you, man? Hello, Jack. Oh, hey. So that's Jack. Okay. He got the he getting his mail. There's been another mix-up. Here you go. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. Yeah. Cheers. Jack, your clothes look mental. <laughs> oh, no, they're not. Can't disagree, bring up the wrong tree or leave it out, Maul. Mm, they are a bit. The B it's answers so are the tight. best. Doesn't you really get pinched? <laughs> Funny kid. Anyway, I have to go. Uh, nice seeing you both. Oh, not so fast, uh, asshole. Do you have any posts for us? Yeah, hand it over. Stealing posts is a crime. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I do. Here you go. Sorry, it's a bit of a pile. So they got his, their mail, too. John Smith and Molly. I like how idiots immediately have to turn my silly joke that has absolutely nothing to do with race into something racial because they're dumb fuck idiots. The, it was observational comedy. There was an actual black woman who was about to walk into them on the street, and then I made a joke about someone robbing their shit. It had nothing to do with the color of her skin. If you think that, fuck off, you stupid racist piece of shit who would actually make that connection. You're an asshole. Seriously, like, go fuck yourself. Okay, let's continue. John, Mr. John Smith. This dude's name is John Smith? Seriously? Hospital. Huh. How long have you had these? You could have dropped them over, mate. You messed up, Jack. 
Anyway, um, I've really got to run. Don't give yourself a wedgie. Bone idol, gormless bloke, or clueless? I'll go with a gormless bloke. The fairies. <laughs> I don't know I what like that means. Him. Promise me it won't turn out like that. Don't worry, Dad. Your daughter's a super genius. Yeah, she seems smart. <laughs> Taxes right on her, not sure how. Now that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Why don't you and Jack be friends? You don't have any friends. He doesn't. The older you get, the less friends you have. It's just the way it is. Anyway, I do have friends. Oh, what about Shazia? Yeah, but she's a work friend. You need cooler friends. Friends who jog and have stupid hair. Yeah, your definition of cool is slightly different to my lot. <laughs> you were talking oh, about yeah. fish on a bed of mentals, right? Mentals? What the fuck is Kafka Kafka esque? <laughs> Kafka esque! We well, can't have greasy food every night to get me in trouble. I don't think they can take me away for having chicken dippers. <laughs> I think some of these letters are from social services again. Uh -oh. Don't worry. If they send one of those people around again, I'll shoot them with a machine gun, then push them down the rubbish chute. Oh, well, that might not work. That might actually make them to take you away. Cherry tree right, school. Don't forget dinner. Yeah, I made a mental note. Bye, Dad. Uh, she's like horribly late. The bell already rang. And so she was expelled for her dad's negligence. <laughs> I know who Kafka is. But Hans Kafka! I know who Kafka is. It's just a weird reference in a video game to be referencing Kafka. Hey, he'll forget dinner. Something's gonna go wrong in this game. You, you know something's gonna go horribly wrong. So what does this guy do for a living? Waking up late and shit? What does he do? Paper dolls. What game is this? This is called, uh, Last Stop. And I don't know what it is. It's, it apparently just was released under Game Pass. It's a narrative-based game from Annapurna Interactive, who've made many games like this in the past, but I didn't even hear about this game. I was like, oh, it's I'll try it. And I'm playing, I'm like, it's, it's like really unique. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. Let me guess, he's going to the pub, right? Mead and Mare? Dude, I knew it. He's going to the pub. He's just gonna drink all day. Oh wait, never mind. He's going to the Cobbett Square Station, maybe he's gonna take the train to work? Perhaps? I think so. Look out, he's on his phone not paying any attention. Yeah, he takes the train to work, does he have to buy a ticket? No, he already has a ticket? He does. Oh, he has, he probably has a digital pass, they have those now. Where it just, it covers you for like a season or whatever. Cobbett Square Station. King Firm says the game's about five hours long. That's not bad. For an air to base game. Oh no, not this guy. Jack, what are you following for, man? Morning. Fancy seeing you here. Whereabouts do you work? Sorry, mate. What with that? Oh, my God. Forget it. Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you get back to whatever it is you're doing on your phone. <laughs> Sorry. I'm being rude. Don't worry. See you around. This guy never looks what he's doing. Oh, that's the guy. You bloody idiot! Oh, he broke his phone! Oh, that's expensive stuff! Are you guys alright? My screen smashed. Do you know how expensive these are? Look, let me uh let me help you up. Get away from my stuff, thief. Whoa. 
Jeez. I'm just trying to help. Give me your arm. What the hell? We're made for each other. What the shit? What the fuck? Uh What the hell just happened? Sorry, mate. Gotta go. What the? Uh, <laughs> sure. What did that? What happened there? Whoa! He's all glitching up the stairs. <laughs> Weird. So that was the same guy from the, the intro to the game. I guess he's going this way too. Is it one of those those plot lines where they switch bodies they don't realize it or something? What time do you call this? <laughs> Sorry, I um got held up. Oh never mind that. I need your advice on something. Okay, go on. So I met Darren again last night. You know, the one with the funny ears. <laughs> Captain Spot! Captain Spot. Anyway, <laughs> he invited me back to his last night. Finally. Mm. Go well. Mm. Can't complain. So, are you going to that drinks thing on Thursday? It's at that expensive cocktail bar, right? Uh, I think I'll pass. <clears throat> oh well, you will be missed. What? Platonic friends? That's not uh, possible between people of the opposite sex. We all know that. <laughs> it's completely not possible. <laughs> The Borough Council. Morning. Or should I say afternoon? <clears throat> it's only just gone nine. Nine oh two by my watch. Synced to Big Ben. <laughs> Good grief. Careful, sunshine. Don't forget who's in charge around here. You're our supervisor, not our prison warden. <laughs> now all I can think about is Shaz in handcuffs. Do you even do what? any work around here? Perverted. If you pressure on Monday to hit the new targets, the fact I'm keeping it together is a miracle. We all have targets. Oh, he's popped up, isn't he? You better wind your neck in. Don't forget you're on report for all those days off. He's a nice yeah, man bun. because he was in hospital. Chaz, that's tragic. Come on. Ugh, what did he do, do for work? Data entry? <laughs> Very exciting. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oops! <laughs> Oops! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was great. He fucking hit the desk. Oh, he hit his own hand. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He keeps hitting his own hand. That's amazing. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> that's pretty fucking funny. What the hell? Oh. Happy birthday. Return to sender. Wait, what? He missed his own birthday card. Look at the desk. It's completely covered. Someone's giving him a birthday card and he didn't even read it. That's hilarious. <laughs> that was actually funny as shit. Oh, come on. <laughs> the monotony Pete of an office sake. job. Print, you bastard! Hello, welcome to technical support. Oh, no. To help us with your query, in your own words, please <laughs> describe your problem. Can I speak to a human, please? No. Thanks. Did you say... You would like to refer a friend? Yes. Supervisor. 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 I'll put you through to one of our support team advisors. Finally. We are currently experiencing Here we a go. number of calls. <laughs> you are number 164. In yes. Place. Please hold. See you in a week. <laughs> what is the name of this game? Last All Stop. Alright, 530. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Why is he blocking the exit? John, mate, where do you think you're going? Um, I'm going home. It's 5pm. I think we're entitled. Didn't you get my email? I marked it as important. You couldn't have missed it. Uh, uh I didn't see an email from you. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, there's been a bit of a foul-up. 
Anyway, I need the Royal Oak files completed by the start of tomorrow. Great. I think it can keep. Hmm, no can do. The big man upstairs says it's tomorrow or your department is in deep doo-doo. I'll stick around and help you out. Well, it's John's cases. I don't think we should set a precedent of sharing out work. Thanks, Shaz, but it's... it's okay. What about Molly? Oh, get a sitter. You go home. Good lad. All right. Well, if you're sure, I'll see you outside Molly's school tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Shaz. And remember, it's a school night, so yeah. don't get up to too much trouble. Ugh. This is both. You never said. This is both reminiscent of Office Space, the movie, and also The Office, the British show. It feels like both because their boss is like a perverted loser. In the email, did you? Shit rolls downhill, mate. Yeah, he's an ass. He never sent the email. <laughs> What a life. I'm assuming we're nearing the end of his plot line, but the question is what happened in the subway? What happened with that guy in the subway? Delayed, delayed, delayed. Ain't that just canceled? How's he gonna get home? This is fucked up. I used to take a bus. Wow. What a life. Poor guy. And of course the bus stop's probably like 10 blocks away from his house and I has to walk too. <laughs> That's just life, man. Out of order, are you kidding? Oh my god. This guy's life is like Murphy's Law, the life. Everything's wrong. Oh, now you can troll him again. Hopefully, his daughter's okay. Dad! <laughs> He's like a zombie. Poor guy. You forgot dinner, didn't you? Yeah, maybe there's something in the kitchen we can throw together. I think there's some jelly in the fridge. Oh boy. All right, let's have that then. It's kind of late for you to get back. I've been here since three o'clock. It can't be helped, I'm afraid. I've taken too much time off already this year to complain about staying late. Because he was sick in the hospital. The only thing I could do huh. is get you a childminder. Do you really want that? Yes. Uh huh? You don't need a childminder. <laughs> and anyway, we can't afford one. What is it, like a well, nanny I do or something? Do you want to check it? Yeah, just, just let me rest my eyes for five minutes and then I'll sort out food and then I'll take a look at your homework. Right. He's gonna go to sleep, watch. He's gonna fall asleep and of course she's gonna feel bad that he's overworked and she's not gonna wake him up, so... Hmm. So yeah, so wait a minute, what's gonna happen now? Because the guy did that weird thing to them, what happens? Hmm. You too, you too. Oh, don't tell me they're going to switch bodies. Oh, no. Molly, I'm, I'm sorry. I think I overslept again. Yep. <laughs> Molly? Molly, are you here? What the hell is all this stuff? <laughs> Where the hell monitors. am I? What's up with my voice? <laughs> Body feels 
feels weird. Oh my god. They've done this a million times before in, in movies and stuff, but I've never seen it in a video game. Interesting. Oh, look, he's a gamer or a fan of gaming. He's got his own exercise machine. Can you open doors and stuff? No. What am I supposed to do? Can I go into the bathroom? He has a, a sword, a toy sword. <laughs> yeah, Freaky Friday, the male version, exactly. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I'm this douchebag. <laughs> no. Yeah, I can imagine being <laughs> waking up as the guy you hate. All right, well, oh, achievement, commuter rage. All right, well, <laughs> this game is interesting to me, man. And I'm wondering how are their how are their plot lines going to interchange? You think that they're going to all connect at some point, right? Yeah, I, I like this. This is actually very entertaining to me. I like this story. So, I don't know if you guys are like it. Some people seem to really like it, and others hate it. Which is funny, because it's the same thing with every narrative-based game. I like this. This actually is entertaining to me. I want to play more of it. I want to I wanna play the whole thing. So, alright. Well, I, I went in with zero expectations, not knowing what the hell it was. And I'm actually very entertained right now. So, cool.